Hi, if you're regular to the channel, you'll know I've done a power off test before my own home to see if I'm generating any of my own interference, which, which wasn't the case. Well, today was a rare opportunity for a planned power outage in my area. This power pole, which is faulty, it's got a snap top and in a dangerous state, is about to be replaced. So we we're going to have a, a, at least six hours without power. So a good opportunity to, uh, to see what the interference is like. Hope you found this video interesting. So this is a quick fly around the bands on the 5000 before the power goes off. I've made notes of each band, uh, the noise level and uh, any particular interference. Uh, here we see uh, 6 metres is uh, about S1.5 on noise, nothing particularly uh, interfering wise. And the same for 10 metres, S2.5. And basically down the bands the, the first point uh, I have a interference is on 15 meters that I notice a lot and it's every 70 kilohertz you can see it on there if I go through it you see the S meter rising the noise and it comes back again and it grows so he's tuning through. So we just to see if that goes. I get a recurring keeping noise on uh, 17 meters, which is linked to my core linear being plugged into the 991A. I can remove that noise. It's interesting to see if the 991A picks that up off itself because the calling will still be plugged in. Nothing particular on these bands. I've noted all the uh, S noises. And again, it's when we get down to 80 meters. There's that noise again. So it's about every 70, so if I go down to 700, it will come back. And it resets. I've got a little recording of the reset, uh, which I'll show you. So here we have the 991A running on battery. Uh, so on uh, six meters, uh, got the same S one and a half. Uh, this is on uh, amp two. So the power went off, uh, bang on schedule at nine o'clock, uh, just before I got a chance to swap the aerials over. So uh, this is eighty uh, on the uh, vertical. <coughs> I never got a chance to compare the noise levels between the 5000 and the 991 here. But on the 5000 on IPO1 it was S6. And here we're down to S2. And I said there was a noise at 3700, didn't that? Which is gone. So this is the off centre of a dipole again, um, <laughs> 6 metres, uh, not registering any noise whatsoever, uh, that was S1.5 before on amp 2. Ten metres, nothing shown on amp 1. Got some background noise on amp 2, uh, and that was showing S2.5 on amp 1 earlier. Just close to shore. Uh, 12 meters be the same. So we've come down to uh, 15 meters, which is where I had that recurring noise. And that's on the amp one. There's 17 meters. Now 
and 20 meters background noise. Well, on the bottom, and that was S5. So go down to 40 meters. And the noise there on IPO one's gone. So all my noise is gone. How good's that? So if I lived in the country, there would be uh, something similar to that, I would imagine. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Unfortunately, the power's going to come back at tea time and all that's going to return. But interestingly, that um, interference on 15 metres is probably worth now investigating because I know that's local to me. It'll be 70 kilohertz and a noise that seems to reset itself. If anyone's got any ideas, well, anyone got any more than ideas, anyone got any sort of a good uh, thought on what that might be uh, from what it is, 70 kilohertz with that reset, uh, be interested to know in the comments. Um, right, thanks very much. Hope you found that useful, interesting, frustrating even <laughs> for me.